you haven't uh, done a PhD. You've done two masters, <laughs> which is still you know an incredible accomplishment. Um, and simultaneously, without a PhD, so I think a lot of people associate teaching in a university with people who have PhDs. But yet here you are without one, and you've won the highest teaching award that Stanford has. So do you have any thoughts for listeners on whether a PhD is, necess- is, is useful to teaching or what circumstances somebody may or may not want to obtain one? Yeah. Um, so I'd first say that a PhD is a, is a title. Uh, it's, it's a certificate. It's a diploma. Uh, and it's one that has a lot of value. But we live in a world where these titles, certificates, uh, uh, prizes are, are worth less and less, honestly. Uh, yeah. What matters especially in a PhD... if you can do a work era skills assessment and I discover that you have better better skills than the Stanford PhD student anyway. <laughs> C- correct. But but uh, the, the value of a PhD is really the ability to connect with a mentor at the end right. of the day. And that mentor right. is going to teach you a lot. It's also the ability to be in a lab and work with uh, 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 peers that are very talented. And so... Uh, I feel like it really depends on the goals for your career. Um, in data science, we we are lucky to be in a field where you can do a lot actually without having a PhD. There's so many talented data scientists without a PhD. On the other hand, if you want to be an academic, then it's important to learn from a mentor in an academic context and go through this paper submission, uh, a, a review process, a rebuttal process. All of that is important to learn how to read research papers. Those are things you learn in a PhD. And so if that's your goal, then a PhD is very well suited uh, for you from a learning perspective. Now, w- w- when it comes to teaching, um, for a long time, uh, teaching and even today, teaching and research are uh, hand in hand. Meaning, universities expect their teach their professors to be both doing research and also doing teaching activities. I am against that. I, I actually think that those are two different skill sets. We all had professors that were extremely good researchers but extremely bad teachers, and they mm-hmm. also know it and they wish they didn't teach. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the other hand. You have people who are great teachers, but are just not suited for academic research. So uh, the job category has to change. It just has to change. Right. Um, and it's changing. Uh, today, if you go on Udemy, Coursera, et cetera, most people who teach actually don't have a PhD. At Coursera, maybe there's more portion of PhD, but generally speaking, anybody can go and teach uh, on, on those platforms. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and so when I was thinking about my career, I loved teaching. I loved sharing knowledge uh, uh, that I had acquired. And uh, I didn't think I need a PhD to do so. And in fact, I was more interested in starting a company than doing academic research. And that's my personal career aspirations. And so I almost looked at the opportunity to be mentored uh, uh, with Andrew Eng, who uh, has uh, so much knowledge in entrepreneurship and in AI, and be able to do what I like, which is start companies. And I actually believe I would not have been a good researcher anyway. So uh, I probably uh, saved a few a few years of uh, uh, unfortunate, uh, uh, desperate uh, uh, attempts to submit papers. Yeah. yeah. 